first thing you have to do is go to your browser and open whitedoor.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. So right here, you want to go and click installation and you want to go scroll down and select which of these is your device. So for this video, I'll be using an iPhone 3G and now you have to select whether you're using Windows or Mac. Now you have to go and scroll up and you will see download here. Just click it and this will direct you to the custom firmware of White Door that you need to download. So here you have normal and unlocker. So we're going to download normal. Once you click this link, this will open a new tab and you can just close this tab and proceed back to the original tab and your download will start shortly. I already got this downloaded so I'll just cancel the download. So anyways go back to the installation page of White Door and go ahead and scroll down and here you would see download original firmware. So you just go ahead and open that link and over here you're going to again select your device and download the iPhone firmware 3.1.2. This also works for the other ones. I also got this one downloaded. So go back to the installation page and click on iREB and open it. This would direct you to the site where you can download the attachment here. Now go back again to the installation page and do the same for Black Rain. Now we need to get ready to install White Door. So go ahead and grab your iOS device and plug it to your computer. Back on your desktop, now you have to go and open iTunes. And select your iPhone from the list. Now over here have two ways. So the first way, if you're using Windows, you have to hold Shift key plus Restore. While on Mac, you have to hold Alt key plus Restore. So since we're using Windows, I'll be using Shift. So let's hold Shift and click Restore. So go ahead and browse to your iOS original firmware, the 3.1.2, and open it and it would extract and install the software to your iPhone. During the installation, you would see this message. So you have to go and click OK. So you can just go back to your downloads and open in folder. Or you could just go ahead and find it manually on Finder. Now go ahead and select the file and extract here. You should see now IREB, 
Now all you have to do is now open iRIP. Click yes. Now click here on recovery mode fixer. And click set auto boot true. Now your iOS device should probably respond immediately. Your iOS device should boot up. And now, you want to go back to your desktop and open iTunes and set this as a new iPhone. So go back to your downloads and now you have to open the file location of Black Rain and go ahead and extract it here. Oh, take note, when you're using Black Rain, I do recommend that you unplug all of your other iOS device. Now let's open Black Rain. So just click OK and click Yes. Now it will take you to this installation wizard. So just go ahead and click Next, Next, and OK. Now click Finish and go to your desktop. And now open Black Rain. And over here, click Make It Rain. Your iPhone should quickly respond, and you would see this dude right here who seems to have those floating iPhones around him. Now just wait for your iOS device to boot up. Now back on your desktop, just click OK here and go back to iTunes. Now over here at iTunes, you have to go to your iPhone and do the same process, except this time, instead of selecting the original firmware, you would now select the white door firmware. Now you have to wait for a white door to install. Now back on iTunes, go to your iPhone, now go ahead and set this as a new iPhone, just please don't restore from a backup or else it would break white door. Now you got the white door on your iOS device. But before that, you need to get your iOS device and go ahead and turn it off. And you have to turn it on again. This would make white door settings be fully loaded. And there you go. Now you have white door completely on your iOS device. So you could just go ahead and use the device. And you can also go to settings. 
and over here you can go to white door settings and here you could just open the advanced options and click accept and go back to settings and go back to white door and now you could just go ahead and select the features you want on your white door device so that's all for now thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Thank you.